you scared me with one of my biggest fears, so I made you go face to face with yours. Okay, so my cousin is a prankster, she likes telling jokes and one of her favorites, is during the holidays, she likes to tell me my uncle, her dad, is coming to pick me up, if I'm being honest, my uncle is not a nice man, he yells at me and everyone for everything, he lies about people to make them look bad and him look good, he makes fun of me for being overweight, he's very verbally abusive, it's gotten to the point where I've pretty much grey rocked him, which is basically no contact. And her favorite prank is telling me that he's coming to pick me up to take me to family gatherings, which I usually avoid going to if he's there. And two hours in the car with him? That's literally hell. So, a couple weeks ago, she lied and told me he called and was gonna come pick me up for my birthday. I felt like I was having a panic attack, I remember crying, hyperventilating, I was pacing back and forth trying to figure some way out of it. And yes. Visiting him is just that bad. She started laughing, I told her that's not funny. She knows how I feel about that man. She said don't you feel better now that you know he's not actually coming? I haven't forgotten that. It's been two weeks, I've had enough of that prank, I wanted to prank her, to kinda get her back. I remembered her biggest fear. Clowns. She's been scared to death of clowns since she was a kid. So, I had a friend, that's over six feet tall, dress up in a scary looking clown suit. I told her I got a free dinner for two coupons for my birthday to her favorite restaurant and wanted to share it with her to bait her. We left and I had my clown in place. The plan was to stop on the middle of this old rural road and stop the car at a specific spot. Where my friend was hiding. Everything went to plan. My friend parked his old junk car in the ditch on the side of the road. I stopped and said we need to check it out, see if they need help. While she's looking in it and looking around for the owner, I sneak back to my car. My clown runs out of an old barn and straight for us. She saw him, froze and started screaming, she ran to my car but I sped off before she could get in, I didn't abandon her, I just drove over a hill to where she couldn't see me from where the old car was and watched in my rearview mirror. She tried running with the clown chasing her, screaming for help. He caught up to her and she got on her knees and started crying. He laughed and revealed it was a joke. I drove back and started laughing with him. She told me that wasn't funny and I repeated what she told me, the don't you feel better line. She screamed and yelled the whole car ride at me, that I could have scared her to death. I told her that's how I feel when she tells me about my uncle. Now to the comments. Funny how people just can't understand there being a backslash holes when they do something to someone else, but, boy, when it's done to them. Please update us, OP, to let us know whether on reflection she's come to understand that what she does to you is similarly not nice. It's only been a couple of weeks. I imagine the true impact will be revealed over time by her actions. Do to others as they would do unto you you fulfilled your obligation OP. Beautiful work. On a different note, what she did was not a prank. She knew your uncle torments you and thought it was funny for you to feel that way. I'm glad you gave her a taste of her own medicine and maybe it will change her. We can hope. I hate the cousin so much, it's just a whole nother level when family pulls this kind of crap. I think people are being a bit harsh on the cousin too. If the uncle is so terrible to OP I can't really imagine living or being raised by them. Undoubtedly your morals might be a bit messed up, not to mention the cousin may be on the receiving end of a lot of the pain too. I think someone should have set them down and talked to them about their behavior first as well as see how their mental state is. If OP is so terrified of her uncle and rarely has to see him, I can't imagine how crappy it must be to have to go home to that every night. Nope, totally justified. Good one. That's revenge best served with heaping side of spite, and hate. Cause and effect. And what did your cousin did slash say after you said that's how you felt about your uncle? Did she promise not to scare you again or she's still mad at you? Also, dang, OP, you're an evil mastermind. One time my cousin's husband tried to lock me in a storage trailer that had an active wasp nest in it. He didn't take my allergy to wasps seriously and did it as a joke. There was a brand new latch on the door. 
but he had only tightened the screws enough to make it look secure. We were supposed to be going in to spray the nests and clear them out. I had walked in about ten when he slammed the door shut and threw the latch. Sudden darkness in a small space with an active wasp nest. Instant panic. I managed to make it out the door and calm myself down. Turned out he had already cleared the nests out and he was just trying to get me to pay attention to my surroundings. My revenge made him soil himself. I tied a tripwire across the trail to the pond with a rubber snake, very realistic, tied to it. Basically, walking across the wire was supposed to cause the snake to whip up against his leg. Only, it actually wrapped around his leg, a result I wasn't expecting. Instant panic and screaming ensued followed by soaked pants as he tried to run away from the snake. I told him, maybe you should pay attention to your surroundings. I'm not allowed on their property anymore. Too funny. Love it. This is one of the funnier revenge stories on here. Kudos. Hope she learned her lesson forever cause if she ever does that bullshit again. Invite the clowns to swarm the house. Make sure she really gets it. Just start leaving traces of clowns around the house as a warning. Buys clown shoes and red noses in bulk. As soon as she started screaming and yelling at you because you got revenge on her, you should have stopped the car and told her that you could always take her back to your clown friend. Would have likely shut her up long enough for you to tell her that she dished it out on you, so if she doesn't like the taste of her own medicine, then that's her own ducking fault, and to not pull that crap on you ever again. A slash am I the arsehole NTA? Everyone's the arsehole here probably. That sub really needs a justified asshole jar. If she starts joking about your uncle again, message her picture of clowns and remind her what happens. IDK, this feels more like slash r slash regular revenge. I'd be more concerned about how your cousin has to live with your uncle all the time. This is probably a source, if not the source, of her pranking you, and she probably needs help with such an asshole father. That does sound like a panic attack. Threatened exposure to something you have trauma from will cause that to happen. I'm sorry they have done this, cousin and uncle. And that friend of yours? Amazing human for helping you. And you are amazing for recognizing your boundaries, and trying to get others to respect them. Not everyone is able to do that. 100% this. It absolutely sounds like a panic attack. According to DSM-5, a panic attack is when you get four or more of the following criteria, and they start suddenly and peak within minutes. Palpitations and or accelerated heart rate. Sweating. Trembling or shaking. Sensations of shortness of breath or being smothered. Feeling of choking. Chest pain or discomfort. Nausea or abdominal distress. Feeling dizzy, unsteady, lightheaded, or faint. Derealization, feelings of unreality, or depersonalization, being detached from oneself, fear of losing control or going insane. Sense of impending doom. Peresthesia, numbness or tingling sensations. Chills or hot flashes. The way she describes it I'm pretty sure she had at least four of those. I generally get eight of the thirteen of those. With me the best I can describe it is my body freaking out while my mind is blank from unknown terror or pain. Mine are indistinguishable from my autistic shutdowns caused by sensory overload, so pain happens. I hate to play devil's advocate. But how did you pull out of her sight but we're able to see the reaction in your rear view? That's a pretty good one. Harmless. Hopefully taught her a lesson. A friend of mine is terrified of clowns and people on stilts, because it looks so unnatural. We did an event and had a clown on stilts sneak up on him and chase him. He ran through a doorway thinking the stilt walker wouldn't make it. The lady went through the doorway like it was nothing. The look on his face was priceless. Please tell me he did something to actually deserve that. The pranks all went around. Totally deserved it. I'll never understand why anyone finds it so hilarious to duck with people. Because they are idiots.